This is Too Long for a Voice Note, a podcast about everything and nothing at the same time. Presented by Claire and Enzo. Our podcast is produced in London. Some conversations are just too long for a voice note. Hey, he's Enzo. And she's Claire. And this is Too Long for a Voice Note. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. We are back. back. Yes, it's us. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Us First time back. recording for a while. Long time. How are you guys? This is like a long time. Well, yeah. before starting the chitty chat mm-hmm. and then blah, 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 blah. Thank you for watching or listening. If this is the first time you're checking our podcast, mm-hmm. remember to subscribe or like because you're yeah. going to like the future anyway. For sure. Yeah. So you need to subscribe. That's what I'm telling you. Exactly. You like everything. Subscribe, but if like. it's, you've been here before, mm-hmm. yeah, just thank you. Yeah, and welcome keep back. coming back. Exactly. <laughs> and yeah. Welcome back. Yes. <laughs> I'm like, so excited to film again. It's feel like a I, lot. I mean, it's like winter now. <laughs> like, yeah. I didn't feel the last time we filmed, it was kind of like summertime. It was summer. And now we are kind of like winter time exactly, but yeah, yeah. suddenly we're close to your birthday my birthday christmas Sagittarius things happen Sagittarius season. <laughs> we're like whatever i'm sorry but i think everyone is happy that scorpio season is over oh thank you God, thank yeah. you everyone bye. sorry if you're a scorpio but bye <laughs> like exactly. the season needs to be over now uh but yeah but very good. good yeah yeah, good yeah we're good nice. like working things yeah. like looking forward what's coming i mean it's a lot of things happening in the world a right lot now has like, happened. this year is a bit like um eventful i yeah, would say for right? sure and we'll see what mm. 2023 holds but mm-hmm. a couple of months until we get there months. yeah yeah but, but i think yeah. like yeah lots of things happening you know things happening i don't know with women rights with twitter yeah. with this and yeah, that yeah and, I don't know, it feels like a lifetime since we last filmed yeah like, it's gonna so be like things have well, we haven't, yeah you know like but a lot either way we're back we're and back. it's my week this week Easy. right so are we ready for the yeah, secret topic of the week okay so it's my time for the secret topic why you have this evil look <laughs> <laughs> what's going on i think this is i think this is a cracking topic you're like <laughs> i'm so great like the topics i get to choose i'm so amazing like guys this is something that we actually have discussed a um, few weeks ago now okay but i don't think you'll be expecting it no, I think we discussed so many stuff. We really so do. We really do. Exactly. It's just like next one, like, next one, next one out. Like, next one out. Okay. So I want to talk a bit about how to phrase this. I want to talk a bit about language Ooh. and if you can truly connect with somebody who doesn't have the same mother tongue as you. Oh. <laughs> I don't know why I have this kind of like baseball stadium sound in my brain today, but that's what it's going, that's how we're gonna go. It's like, yeah. You turn into like a sports bro, <laughs> like you know the World Cup, the least like, like, like sports bro person ever. Literally. Um. So yeah, Ooh, I really thought this would be an interesting oh. topic for us as we are obviously 100%. very close friends and yeah. we have. Are different we mother um we have a different mother tongue mm-hmm. and so first language is spanish mm-hmm. espanol latino espanol. gang represent yes. mine is english i'm trying yeah. with my english <laughs> and obviously we communicate in english yeah so that we're both actually in relationships yeah, with people yeah. that have Speak different languages. mother yeah. tongues to us as well. Yeah. So that is something that I was wondering Why? about. I have an article that I will be referencing through the episode. Like, but before we get into that, is, let's just get your... We get exactly, articles and reference. Exactly. <laughs> but I just wanted to get your kind of initial thoughts on can you truly express because you spend a lot of your time expressing yourself in In a different language so do you think that you can first of all that's kind of what this topic this is a really 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 good one honestly thank you like like, like, (laughs) yes i'm sorry no you don't have to say but thank you for saying it um wow yeah i think it's interesting because i think and there's some in uh, this takes me back when I moved here to London because I felt for a long time that I wasn't fully myself. Like for, it's like I wasn't myself, guys. Mm-hmm. I don't know who I was. No, it's like, it was this period of time where you're adapting and you're learning how to express in a different language. It's kind of like at the beginning, it's really difficult to express yourself in the way you do it normally. You know what I mean? It's kind of like weird because, and maybe, um, I don't know, you like Spanish and, you, you know, like, you are you know a lot of Spanish, but one day if you really try to learn or to speak fully in Spanish, mm. 
you will understand me maybe better because it's kind of thing of like you don't know how to express everything you are in that different language. I was gonna say, yeah. you know, it's yeah. kind of like, and it took me a while to feel that I was fully myself in English. Like now, mm. nowadays, I can feel that I'm the same in Spanish and English. But there's like a there's like a brain connection or something there when you're trying to express yourself in a different language. That at the beginning, it's like I was not. In, of course, it comes because you can express all the words you want to, or you still don't know how to translate your emotion from one language to others mm -hmm. because you know that's the thing as well like well that was something that i right? found i was going to ask you about because in this article that i read mm -hmm. that i'm going to link uh in the show notes yeah. um they basically said that there can be a lot of positives and obviously negatives as well to um having for example like a bilingual relationship or friendship yeah so we can talk about the positives in a bit but to kind of go off of what enzo said one of the drawbacks is that Uh, the article says couples who are fluent in the same language can struggle with sharing meaning in their conversations. Mm -hmm. This can lead to miscommunication and escalate into feelings of disconnection or even arguments. Mm -hmm. It can also be frustrating with partners sometimes feeling that they haven't been listened to and truly heard, especially when the topic especially when the topic of conversation is important and emotive. Mm -hmm. So that kind of goes into what yeah. you were saying. Because I can imagine mm -hmm. that, for example, like so often, mm -hmm. uh, just in English, it's really hard for you, and you probably feel the same in Spanish, mm -hmm. sometimes you feel something, but you can't really put it into words, yeah. so therefore for you having like the extra layer of trying to, first of all, you need to put it into words in Spanish, yeah. in your head, mm -hmm. and then you need to put it yeah. in English, and I think often like you say like, I just don't know what that word is in English. Like, yeah. I, there isn't yeah. really, because I think... Yeah. Maybe languages... there's not that word in English even. That's exactly. Thing. And you try to find, like, the closest closest one, but then but it's still... But it's not quite yeah. the thing. And, and I think that still happens to me nowadays. I think, like, now I feel I know better. It's kind of like the magic of translators and translation overall, because it's about, like, how to translate a feeling... The, the closest to the original one, you know? And the kind of like, mm -hmm. sometimes I feel like something in Spanish that means four, five different things in one, maybe that's not in English. And mm -hmm. it still is kind of like you always looking for something that gets the closest to. Yeah. But okay. I do feel like, for example, like speaking with people, like, for example, we talk a lot and I can now pick things better from your language now because mm -hmm. knowing you pretty well, I know why you feel with one word, for example, let's say. And now that helps me to understand how, mm -hmm. what to say to be closer to that. Okay. If that makes sense, mm -hmm. it's kind of like a practice. You need to practice, mm -hmm. basically. It's true. So the more you speak and the more you speak, I think the more you speak people, that that's their mother tongue, mm -hmm. the, the language that makes it better. For example, mm -hmm. me, like, you know, like speaking with you, that you, it's your language mm -hmm. that helps me. Okay. To yeah, understand yeah. better and to speak better English because I get you. you know, like yeah, yeah, yeah. it's the it's the kinda like the noise. Kind of thing. Yeah, it's yeah. Like, and it's kinda like that thing like um yeah, it's quite interesting. Like mm. um I feel yeah, how how you ever feel like you not being really understood because most of your friends that don't speak English as a first language true. like it's true. most of them now are like all little Latinos Listen around again. the world so <laughs> you know someone from Sp Spain or somewhere you know what I mean yeah. it's like someone from Mexico you know it's like mm. different people from different places as well yeah so have you ever felt like um not understood properly or that your message is not coming across exactly or maybe you're Trent. like Oh, maybe that person didn't actually get me properly. Trying to explain to a Spanish speaker. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. I definitely You're like, think yeah, so. all the fucking time. <laughs> yeah. I'm speaking with you. With and you. it's kind of like Yesterday, the, is the day real. before, then the Remember day before Monday. that. Yeah, yeah last <laughs> like, week. That yeah. thing as well. Like, we are actually, there's a really cute story that mm -hmm. we have from, which I think it was not really about not being understood, but mm -hmm. I think at the beginning of our friendship, oh, this is really I funny. Know. So it was like the third time I was, we were trying to hang out yeah, yeah. and it was Christmas. Mm -hmm. And uh, Enzo was coming to my house for like some gathering and he was like, can I bring something? And I said, can you please bring some nipples? <laughs> So I misspelled nibbles and I just wrote, please bring some nipples. And then so I typed with those like silent and then I typed in like British snack nipples. I was like, I'm really sorry for the ignorance, but what exactly is a nipple? And I was like, oh my God, so funny. <laughs> it's so hilarious. <laughs> so we're always like, he, he gets some nipples and everything. But because it's funny. It's yeah. funny. And I, yeah. I was very like... It, uh, It's been still not my first years in London, but maybe 
I didn't have a lot of experience with someone asking me or oh, requesting nibbles, you know? Yeah, so exactly. for me, it was like, oh, now Because of a Brit would obviously be like, yeah. oh, you mean she means nibbles. She exactly. just misspelled yeah, it kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But in terms of like misunderstanding, yeah, I think or feeling so. Feeling misunderstood, maybe. Feeling like, misunderstood, like, like oh, this little bitch is not getting my. Mom. Yeah, and I think also kind of like that goes back to the article as well. Mm-hmm. That in a way, I, I, what they said in the article mm-hmm. is that it can actually be a real positive to mm-hmm. be in a bilingual relationship because mm-hmm. you have to try quite hard mm-hmm. to explain yourself yeah. and it's like not that yeah. of course your English is such a high standard mm-hmm. it's not like I have to like speak slowly mm-hmm. but like for example I think if you're expressing something that's quite big mm-hmm. then you might met not with you mm-hmm. but with like other friends mm-hmm. you know like sometimes I need to actually really like think clearly about what I'm mm-hmm. saying and I think that is actually a positive think very clearly about the words that you're yeah, using and not about, not in yeah. like a condescending way at all but in a way that you I think that you probably less probably, automatic exactly you mm-hmm. probably feel that in Spanish as well you're just yeah. like blah 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 yeah. blah yeah. and then maybe you mind your words a bit more mm-hmm. in English makes sense um, yeah. but actually totally. yeah to go back to the article they were saying actually it's it's real positive because Why you, interesting. Yeah. you really think and again I think with us we do really like to communicate clearly we have a podcast that we like to talk <laughs> like, hopefully we like to communicate exactly yeah. <laughs> but like I think we really do think about the way that we say things and mm-hmm. I wonder how different that would be if I was uh, fluent in Spanish or you were you were English it would be, was your first it would be even language. more messier imagine like what we will the say the horror like, can you imagine if imagine. The, the, the speed the, the of everything you know that would be well it was already a lot yeah thinking about like yeah like relationships feelings mm-hmm. and all of that yes yeah it's funny because since i'm here um i mean i've had relationships with people that speak in english yeah your relationships are in yeah, english, yeah yeah well i mean have like yeah people like yeah. guys are they that were spanish so that was which is actually funny because yeah it's very yeah, strange yeah, yeah yeah it's very like interesting because it was very direct communication but what I feel interesting is that people I've been I've been dating or I'm dating right now. It's like their English is not even their first language, so it's, so interesting it's kind of it. like we both need to translate to this common language and speak there. Yeah. Well, we you know what I mean. It's kind of like the, because you're, it's not like you are English speaking and I'm the only one translating to speak with you. Yeah. Also, the other person is exactly. so it's kind of like double yeah. challenge, right? Because from that side and this side. Yeah. And I was going to say, like, because have you ever found that? Like, have you... I mean, it's hard to say, right, I think, in terms of a relationship because you're dealing with, like, a new person. Mm-hmm. So you can't really say that these issues wouldn't be... You know, say you have, like, a problem with communication. You can't really say, oh, it's because, like, his mother tongue is not that... My mother tongue is not that we're speaking in it. Because that, it, can yeah. be, it could be completely the same yeah. if you were both speaking in true, Spanish. True. You'll never know. you never know. Because that's what you're... The cards that you're dealt kind of thing. Yeah, you know, I've, I thought about this, like, many times, like, how crazy is that you spend so many years or whatever is the, the length of your relationship with someone and you both don't speak the same language? And it's kind of like, if you think about it, how many things are maybe missed in the middle of it? How many messages? How many, like, things like um, thoughts? How many, like, I don't know. It could be, maybe there are not that many. Maybe, maybe yes. I, I don't know, but it's kind of like... Like on unsettling, unsettling feeling now that I think about it. So going back mm. to this article, they mm. said that if you think about it, language is one form of communication. You oh. communicate through a million oh, different so... ways. What so a good point. I have dated mm. English guys and it's like not as nearly the same kind of level of connection. How interesting. So and I wonder if that's something that's been reflected with your relationships I, I, as well. I think like the thing is like it's a really, really good point. And I think in my case, I wouldn't be able to tell 100% because I feel like the time in my life where I had relationships where I speak with, with both Spanish speakers, uh, there was a different moment in my life that I was younger, more immature, yeah. and there were like things that are different now. Yeah. And the, the, the two relationships I have after that that are just with speaking in English, I'm, I'm kind of like a different person in a way because I'm more I'm grown, grown up and like different situations of life as well. Yeah. So it's kind of like, I think the comparison, it could be a bit unfair in that sense because yeah. I don't know if it affects 
who I am now and in the point of my life I'm now or just the language as well. I get you. But yeah, but for example, right now I feel like I have no issues to communicate what I feel at all. No. Because also the person I'm dating is very well spoken in English. Yeah, exactly, so yeah. there's, at least there's no like another layer of like not able to communicate kind of yes, thing, you know? Yeah. But as you say, it's also about the person. It's a good yeah. point. Yeah. That's the thing because, well, have you ever felt that you have found it hard to express your feelings in English? Um, I think, I think we're speaking this recently, like I do feel right now, I don't know if it's right now, it's something that actually, because again, where I am at now and like everything, because I think I was very young when I came to London and it was in this process when I was very young, I was like 25, 26, well, very quite young. young. Yeah, yeah, quite young, quite young. And kind of like I developed and become like an adult in English. So I feel for me, it's at this point, I think sometimes it's easier for me to sp- express my feeling in English than in Spanish, mm. which is funny, but I think it's because my, maybe it's like an automatic response or something, because Spanish for me is when I was younger and that was the way that was very different. Now that I've learned all of these things were in English. So it's mm, kind of like- So interesting. How, for me, expressing things in English now is so much easier, especially emotionally. I have no issue, but in Spanish, I don't know if because it's more connected to something else or maybe because it's like connected to who I was before. That sounds very dramatic what I was before, but I meant when I was younger yeah, kind yeah, of thing. Of so it's kind of like yeah. more difficult to express what I I feel. Or maybe because I express less of my emotions in Spanish than in English now because my surroundings are in English. Yeah. It's quite interesting. Yeah, very. Like, yeah it's kind of like, I, I, I don't know. I do feel like in, in English right now, I have no issues expressing at least my emotions. I don't feel I have actually feel like I have more more tools yeah. to express myself, and I think like well having a podcast probably the testimony of that True. like I have no issues to <clears throat> talk bullshit <laughs> in English yeah, basically. Right. But I have like a a funny story about the translate. It's like um it's funny because it includes Rosalia, but it was a, the a guy I was dating and we were listening to the El Malquera uh, album. Mm. This Rosalia second album, very mm-hmm. successful album. Mm. Blah, blah blah. You need to listen to it if you haven't. Oh my god, yeah, come on, um, come on if you haven't listened to it. But it was it. interesting because I was trying to translate to him the lyrics of the song, and mm. it was so hard because especially because the Spanish used in these songs of Rosalia are very like has a mix of like a traditional. Tra- it has many layers. It has traditions. It has like the way you say some things mean other things. Mm. It's not literal. The translation is very poetic. Mm. So to translate that in English, it kind of makes no sense yeah. sometimes. And it was it's kind of funny. It was it's like a funny moments, but also very struggling because I was trying to translate these lyrics and trying to translate the feeling of what mm. she was trying to say, and it was almost impossible. Yeah, because kind of like the words she was putting in these lyrics. They are not. Um, it's, they are not facts. It's not like uh, this doing that means that. It was more ways to say something to evoke a feeling. So it's difficult, yeah. and it was funny because it, it kind of like the other person who was not getting it. It was. Uh, I don't understand what you're trying to say. It's like, well, but you need to see like this is like how also we speak in Spanish sometimes, and how yeah. poet, poet, poet poetry yeah. is, poet, yeah. which is like. It has a different way to Mm. express where in English is more direct and more like concise. Maybe it's more like straightforward in Spanish, maybe the same. It's not a straight, it's more like expression, you know. So that's why in a moment I struggle to express. Not what I was feeling maybe, but the feelings of someone else, finally. And I'm trying to say like in in songs that were very like about heartbreak and like emotions, it's kind of like, wow. How can I translate this? And when I look up, up online, the translation of these songs in English, I'm like, half of this is missing. That they're missing. You're not getting. There are messages not, yeah. that are missing, but you only will understand if you understand Spanish. But in English, that makes sense. Yeah. You know, it's, 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 it's interesting hard. though. But I think like poetry is a really good example of that because it's again, like you said, it's not really about you expressing your feelings. It's about somebody else expressing mm-hmm. their feelings. And I think poetry is like that. That's why people study poetry and language because it's like well. interpretation, interpretation and only Rosalia can probably tell you that's what I meant when I wrote that song True. do you know what I mean so it's yeah. a bit like I think in English as well I will struggle to tell you like yeah. what that poet meant I'll be like I think this is what I sure. take from that but 
I don't know, does like saying that really like mm-hmm. resonate with mm-hmm. you? Mm-hmm. Because I'm not quite sure. True. You know what I mean? So I think that would be kind of maybe like quite a universal thing. Mm-hmm. Makes sense. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah um, totally. But I think also in a language like Spanish, there are lots of diff- the same, different words for the same thing. Yeah. Which I don't think we have in English. In, in, you know? That's why English is like so useful. That's what I think I heard that a lot of people saying that English is so like useful that's why it's so universal because it's so it makes so much sense once you get it it's kind of logic it's mm. very logical that's the thing yeah and the construction i mean yes. from a point of view of someone yeah. maybe for you it's like well yeah i guess but i guess most of the things in the english is, are so like logical that it's more it's easier to for more people to understand mm-hmm. it because it's kind of like clearer messages Got well you. in spanish i think it's so easy to like go in a tangent or like go in a weird way or kind of like what the fuck are you talking about you know like yeah. i mean it's something different nothing is better or worse it's just like it's different a different language. way of express and then of course if you go to other languages i don't know japanese like yeah. wow a different word like you express things with symbols and like characters and kind mm. of like how you translate that to a whole feeling you know like i think what's really interesting mm-hmm. here it's kind of like wrapping up the mm-hmm. topic is kind of about like which I didn't really think about until we had this mm-hmm. conversation about mm-hmm. like how much your identity is linked to your language. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because like, do you, I know you said at the beginning, like when you first moved to the UK, you found it difficult to like make yourself your full mm-hmm. self in English. Mm-hmm. But do you feel like you're different in Spanish at all? Or like, do you feel like you're like a different Enzo? But then how much of that is like cultural? Because I was going to say, how different are you with like your, all your Venezuelan friends who are also all my friends as well. But if you're speaking yeah. in Spanish, do you feel mm. different? Do you act different or mm. not? I do feel like, I do feel pretty much myself in both languages now, obviously now, but I do believe there's a slightly change with the language mm. because as you say which is very true it makes a lot of sense like language is also built on culture like references like ways you say things and express so that it's there when you speak the other language mm. you like you have all this set of things that yeah. comes with the language you're speaking that makes total sense and i do believe obviously from my point of view now i feel like i'm totally the same also because i can i can speak I don't know, we can be with our friends speaking in Spanish and I can switch in English like a straight away because you're coming in. Mm. And the, I'm not changing my thoughts or I'm not changing yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah. For me, in, in my brain now, it's the same, just yeah. in a different code. But it's now amazing. it's kind of like, boom, in a different code. And it's, I'm not changing, I'm not even thinking for a second I need to change what I'm saying for you to understand it. Yeah. No, it's kind of like automatic. Yeah. But I'm sure when I'm like longer periods of time with Speaking by speaking, yeah. speaking, it must be there must be things of me that are different. I'm sure because as you say, like there's cultural things. There are things that you say in your language that you wouldn't say in English, mm. kind of thing. Expressions, words. So I guess so. But again, at the same time, I do feel more comfortable now speaking about my feelings in English, so which is funny. Isn't it? Which is very funny. Like honestly, I can just speak my feelings in this language better. I feel I don't know if it better as it were, but quicker or more assertive more the, ease to more it. Is and it is in interesting Spanish. probably maybe because you became a proper adult in the UK yeah you're and basically a Londoner now and so yes guys I literally know. it's like it's happened I'm a Londoner <laughs> <laughs> like I'm afraid to tell you I'm a Londoner <laughs> how you feel like so far since you're in a re- relationship with someone who speaks Spanish like mm. Something specific that it's kind of like, oh, or funny or difficult, kind of like, oh, wow, this is kind of, or that you have spot about the communication, like, um, I mean, you no, date, no. I mean, you date before people like speak another language, <laughs> which true. I mean, I think actually, I think in the past, there were funny I things, I with an accent, yeah, <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> like, it is what it is, but actually, I think I remember you had like. You telling me things that the other person was telling you in oh, the yeah. morning, and it's gonna like haha lol because what they're trying to say, or you asking me like what is that trying to say? Yeah, here? yeah, you know, exactly. Like, yeah, Do you think this is what I mean. Yeah, no, because actually, I definitely yeah. dated somebody like not now the yeah. person I'm in a relationship with, but before like yeah. some his English wasn't that good, so yeah. I think it was a bit like yeah, yeah. And so what's he trying to say? <laughs> kind of True. thing. And I remember. remember being like, oh, I know what he's trying to I, say. I know yeah, because exactly, I, yeah. I have been in that position saying that thing in that way because that's how you learn when your English is not, not that maybe advanced or whatever you want to call yeah. that's 
how you will say it because maybe you're translating it straight from Spanish yeah, to English. Yeah, exactly. That's quite an interesting thing, yeah. honestly. Yeah. But in this relationship, no, definitely no, yeah, not at yeah, all. Yeah. I think, yeah. What was the actual question again? How Kind of like if there's something like, if you have spot something funny or difficult or weird about like being with someone speaking a different language of like anything in particular you can recall maybe no, I really don't think so no. I really don't think yeah. so because I think in a way like when you're in a relationship with somebody you're getting to know them they're different ways mm -hmm. like it's not really like it's like it's kind of like the same at the end of the day mm -hmm. like I don't really view being in a relationship with somebody whose lang uh, first language isn't English uh, mm -hmm. as an issue mm -hmm. because it's just like it will be literally the same because mm -hmm. actually like you're because uh, yeah of course like his English is really good so mm -hmm. it's not like there's no there's not issue about there it, yeah, but yeah. it's like in terms of like what you actually care about getting to know yeah. somebody is like like for us becoming friends it's True. like you don't really care about the like yeah. you being like oh I don't really know that word in English what is it then that it's actually really affect, like, no it's the, like what you yeah. care about is like their mm -hmm. views on things like their reaction True. to you like True. all of that kind of stuff yeah. and that's not really that yeah, I guess it's more to like well at the end it's more like about the heart it's true in a friend in, <laughs> <laughs> like, in, in friendship or relationship it's about like what the other person the vibes, en the energy, energy it is you. it is all about energy in a right, way yeah. because we've never we have like you're like Enzo somebody that I've told stuff to that I've never told another human mm. being in the world Other stuff secrets. before she has all, he can release so, that okay, I release a uh, memoir in yeah. the future <laughs> just the click of one button we're create like a, like a fake fight and then I'll my memoir and like, like a best selling book and then the memoir like, the memoir let's be clear reveal <laughs> uh, reveal her inner her, her true self who is she really is yeah. but you know so it's like not really about that it's yeah. about like, and I wasn't like oh this bitch who speaks Spanish, like I'm not going to be able to express myself. It's more about Quite this is the person that I love, that I can trust, that like I know he's going to be okay to understand what I'm saying. So yeah. at the end of the day, I think I didn't realize until maybe them being in a relationship mm -hmm. with somebody who speaks Spanish. It's yeah. like, oh, that's really not an issue for me yeah. at all. But then again, I'm the one speaking in the language in that's the language. preferred. Yeah. So you'd have to ask him. I True. guess if like poor person you... honestly is like there's so many things like in disadvantage <laughs> even with the language right I'm telling you like exactly. bless him but I think that's pretty much yeah. everything I think we've covered everything yeah. is there anything else you'd like to add and so I think no I think it's a fascinating topic and I just I do wonder if like and please if you're watching or listening yeah. and if you want to share this if you have ever felt like maybe like Oh, like, oh, I wouldn't have a relationship with someone that speaks a different language because I wouldn't be able to communicate properly. Like, have you ever felt that? Like, have you ever felt like maybe you're like, oh, no, or you're, yeah, you're going to, like, stop. You know, it's interesting, you know? I have to say, because as I, as I said, like, I mm -hmm. tend to date and now I'm in a relationship with someone, mm -hmm. like, it's a different language, it's always been the thing, but a lot of my... British friends mm -hmm. have said to me like, "Oh my God, no! Like, how can you get serious so, with someone who so, doesn't? So you know, you it, it, it's a it's a true fear that people exactly. have. Like, oh, how can yeah. I communicate? But it's quite interesting. Like, as you're saying, like in your experience at least, it's been proved many times. In my experience as well, like mm. it's proved many times that is it not really about that at the end? Like, it's not really about the language because at the end, I feel like as long as, and there's something like one friend of ours who always said, as long as the message can come across, it's fine. You know, like, maybe the grammar mm. is not perfect. Maybe this is not the correct thing. But you know, as long as the message go to one to be, the other person understands it, mm. that's what it, what it takes. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. And I guess some people are afraid of like, oh, how are we going to be if the person doesn't express exactly what it means? Yeah. You know what I mean? You can always improve your language. I yeah, can always yeah. learn Spanish if needs be. Like if Enzo has like a stroke and like, forgets his English, <laughs> I can learn Spanish and be like, hola, so you're so clear. <laughs> oh, no, For example. No, you never know how to make up a hand. So that's the thing. You can learn a language, but you can't. You can learn. Oh, let's get this on a t-shirt. You can learn a language. You can't fake a connection. I love that. I it's love so that true, right? Life. Like, there's some hippie shit at the end of the episode. You're welcome, you know? But guys, <laughs> yeah, I mean... I love it, really. Yeah. It's a really interesting topic. And I think, yeah, 
we'll quite be thinking about it for a while. Yeah, I think it really like share if you if you have an issue with someone that speaks yeah. a different language. If how you it's communicate being. in a different language, or if you feel yeah. any type of fear of mm. trying to get into one because of this. So maybe after this episode, people will be like, oh, I'm gonna date someone for a different country, exactly. with a different language. Like, yeah. I'm opening up the, <laughs> okay. that I'm up the doors for people. Like, don't be afraid to share to. Um, get with someone of a different language exactly. it's fine it's fine you, yeah. you just need to try <laughs> like you deserve it certified you deserve it certified by us you're gonna be okay exactly well okay. guys thank you so much for thank listening so much and for watching listening. please just yep. remember what everything we say subscribe cry, like, like share, share everything drop mm, us a comment mm, and um, we'll see you next week thank you bye see guys you bye bye